Despite their qualities, they've remained unloved by the deaf and hearing impaired since their invention. But the modern hearing aid has now become small enough to be discreet. And with technological advances, they have at last come into their own. Whether hearing impaired from birth or through loss later in life, deafness can be a massive blow and takes time to adjust to. Hearing aids offer to thousands the ability to hear to some degree or other. But before construction begins, a hearing test is needed. An audio meter tests the patient's hearing and a report is produced. Next, a mould of the ear canal is made. A silicon liquid is administered to create an impression. Once solidified, it's carefully removed. This congealed mass, a perfect replica of the canal, is then soaked in warm wax to obtain a positive imprint. Then the container is filled with silicon, which hardens in only 10 minutes. The hardened silicon block is removed and any excess eradicated so that only the essential part is retained. The imprint must slip easily into the ear. It's now the moulding stage for the hearing aid. Acrylic is poured into the mould before placing it into this ultraviolet oven. Without emitting any heat, this oven hardens the acrylic. At this point, the raw prosthesis is without its electrical components. This plan details the electric circuit of the amplifier. Holes are pierced for the volume control. The components are minuscule. This is the volume control. The miniature microphone that captures the sounds and the earphone, which functions as a speaker. This tiny braided wire of seven conductors is soldered to the amplifier and other parts of the prosthesis with pewter. The hybrid circuit is inserted into a silicon casing which protects it. Then the wires are soldered to the speaker. And they verify the proper functioning of the volume control. A hearing aid must be very discreet. That's why they cut the excess with a diamond disc. They also remove any roughness with fine sandpaper. The holes we see here are used to vent air from the earphone. This silicon tube is used to make the vent. Acrylic is poured into the tube to form a tunnel. Ultraviolet light is used to harden the acrylic. Afterwards, the tube is removed. This hole is used to position the fastener, a small wire which allows for the removal of the hearing aid from the ear. Then the battery is installed. Only a few parts, such as the microphone, remain to be put in place. Then everything is delicately assembled into the interior of the prosthesis. The two parts of the hearing aid are then glued together. Again, ultraviolet is used as it hardens the glue. The plate used to position the prosthesis components is cut away with a drill. Then the hearing aid is manually polished to make it perfectly smooth and comfortable. The prosthesis is now completed. There remains one important step, verifying its electroacoustic characteristic. It's with this analyzer that they validate that the hearing aid conforms to the original prescription. These minute devices are key to improving one's sense of hearing. And with digital technology perfectly suited to this field, hopefully even smaller units will be created.